Well, hello there and welcome to Novella Sims. I'm Novi and you're watching the Pearson Legacy episode 16. And guys, it's gonna be a good one. I cannot wait because Angela and Christopher are getting married today. And if you'd noted that the sky looks a little bit different in the intro, it's because I've installed a new lighting mod by Burnt Waffles. I'll make sure I go ahead and put the lighting mod in the description below. I really, really love what it's done to the game and how it's changed the sky. It's so beautiful. So just to recap the last episode, um, Christopher made friends with Bo. Bo was a long time friend of Christopher. He sort of lost contact with, but he went ahead and reignited that friendship. And Angela spent her last day as a single, well, not a single woman, but an unmarried woman hanging out with Jeffrey. And I know that this was a controversial opinion, but in her defense, it's she did ask Jamie to tag along. She was meant to spend the day with her besties, but Jamie bailed, doing whatever Jamie does. But Jeffrey, you know, he's always been there. He's our day one. He was like, I'm gonna help you spend your last day before you get married tomorrow. So that's what we did at, on the last episode. So it's Sunday morning. I'm really hoping that the wedding will take place probably around uh, one to 12 p.m. today. So I'm gonna wake up Angela. I'm gonna let her go ahead and, oh, there's, there's nothing to eat. Well, she can just go ahead and have some pancakes. Can you have, oh, not prepare. Go ahead and have a quick meal. Sorry, that's what I'm looking for. Go and have a quick meal, use the bathroom, have a shower. Hopefully she can get ready quite quickly just to at least go to the wedding venue. And then Christopher, will get up and make sure the kids are ready for the wedding. I'm gonna be honest guys, I might have to do a little bit of cheaty roo with the uh, needs today because Blake hasn't slept. He literally just stayed up all night in his crib. So Angela's just finished from the shower. I'm gonna make her check herself up. <laughs> I'm gonna make her check herself out. Um, can you brush your teeth as well? just to give her some extra moodlet for the day. And Christopher is just get going to bath Blake and then he's gonna say goodbye to Angela that he will obviously meet her at the venue. He's gonna give her uh, a little kiss, a pre-kiss prior to the wedding. Come on, hurry up, Angela. Finish brushing your teeth. It's enough. And give your hubby, your husband to be a kiss goodbye before you pop off to the wedding venue and get ready. I am literally so excited for them. Okay, so Blake and not Blake, oh my god. So Angela and Christopher are getting married here at a beach wedding lot. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and send her along. And Christopher is actually gonna go ahead and throw the party at this vending venue. It looks like a rubber is there. Oh my God, what are you doing? What are you stealing from our wedding venue? Okay, so we're going to get married at the beach wedding lot. I have made it a community park rather than a beach um, because when I played this the first time, they kept running to the beach and I'm hoping the fact that I make it a park will limit that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do exclusive access um, and we'll press OK. So let's see who we can invite to the wedding. So of course we're going to invite Bo um, and his wife Victoria. We can invite Bibi, she's our neighbor and she did gate crash our party. We're gonna invite Jamie and invite Iqbal. Um, we can invite Erin <laughs> since <laughs> Angela randomly plays with her. Jeffrey, of course, will be coming and I'm sure he's going to bring along Nancy. Um, should we invite Leighton? Uh, why not? <laughs> Maybe he accidentally ended up on the in invitation list, we'll see. We're gonna go ahead and make this a wedding party, formal attire, and then, should we say 1 p.m. or 2 p.m.? Let's go with 2 p.m. That way we're not under too much pressure. Okay, and that's our guest list. Perfect, the wedding's going to start at 2 p.m. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> so what does he want? He wants to serve a home-cooked meal at the party. Of course you do, but it's not one of those parties, Christopher. 
So Angela, yep. I wonder if she's at the lot already. Let's, oh no, she's literally just outside the door. <laughs> oh, I love this moodlet that they've just got wedding day. Sims love to celebrate this incredibly important day with a party. Just make sure everything goes to plan. Oh, well, we will try, but like I've mentioned in the makeover video, I've already played this and it was a disaster. So I'm really, really hoping the second time round that today will be going well. But as you can see, Angela's in a fantastic mood. She's got all these great moodlets. So I have a feeling that, you know, second time round might be better. Uh, so Christopher's already gone ahead and done that. I'll make sure that he goes ahead and uses the bathroom. He also gave Brienne a bath, yep and <laughs> and Blake looks like Blake is tired we'll go ahead and give him some food I will cheat up his energy just because unfortunately Blake's uh sleeping calendar is completely off and we will make sure that these guys get ready so guys here on the beautiful beach of Sunset Valley this is the venue where Christopher and Angela will be getting married And I'm just gonna show you around. <laughs> um, I downloaded this lot from The Sims Resource. Um, I had to do it, well, I wouldn't say I did it up a little bit, but I added a dance floor here. I got rid of, it had tiled floors and I went ahead and just made it sandy. So it sort of fit in a little bit more with the beach, kind of like they had raked the sand to make it nice and neat. Obviously we have our buffet tables and seated tables over here. And then just a little venue where the bride can get ready. So Angela's going to, I think, can you actually change your outfit in the mirror? I completely forgot. No, you can't. Okay, no worries. I'm going to work on my Enra's magic and make sure we get Angela ready for the big day. Um, as you can see, actually, in the base game, you don't get wedding arches. So I'm intrigued to see how the wedding goes today. Um, I think at this beautiful venue, it will go just fine. Uh, we've got a little candy floss machine here. I actually can't remember if this is store content or if it's custom content. This is very, very bright and white. I think it's just the time of day. It's the whitest and brightest venue you can get, but it does sort of get a bit more easier on the eyes later on. One of the things I really love about this venue is the bridal suite and just the mirror, the decorations, the little seat over here. I can see that Angela's got a little book in her hand. Maybe she's going to read uh, just to relax a little bit. Um, but we will make sure that she gets ready. And I'm sure that Jamie will come a little bit earlier to help her get ready as well. So back at home, I am going to let uh, Christopher go ahead and just quickly feed Brienne on the floor just to bring up her food a little bit. I will unfortunately have to cheat up uh, Blake's energy. And then these guys at home are going to get ready uh, for the wedding. I hope that their little babies are, well, I'm sure their kids have no clue <laughs> about what today brings, but it will be fine. So Christopher's gone ahead and planned a party. What's wrong? Oh, they always want to come to the shelf in the bedroom, but they can't get here. It's so annoying. What else can we do for you, Christopher, before it's time for you to go? Let You can go ahead and have a, a quick meal as well. Why not? In fact, let's do what you've been doing for the last couple of days. You can have an extreme beverage. We'll let you have that. And then these guys will get ready and go to the venue. Oh, how cute is this that he's playing with a boat? <laughs> and Madam over here was playing with this. Oh, what have you? Oh, I had no idea that to when you make drink it costs money <laughs> I've just seen that happen oh gosh Christopher's party is starting soon a little setup might be in order don't forget the party's at the beach wedding lot okay oh it was a royalty payment received so Angela got 30 simoleons from the science of love okay come on Christopher be quick and let's get our little babies ready 
So Christopher has just finished his drink and him, pretty much like Angela the other day, is not impressed with the state of the kitchen. But it doesn't matter. We've got somewhere to go. And I hope he, I hope you think he looks good dashing in his wedding suit. I think it's formal enough for the occasion, but also informal enough for Christopher's style. So he looks super great. And when we look at the little babies, little Brienne is in her outfit over here and Blake is in his outfit as well, and we'll get a better look at their outfits at the uh, wedding venue. Um, so we will let Christopher go ahead, go to community lot with Blake and with Brienne. And yep, you can go straight ahead to the beach wedding lot. So as these guys start these, their journey, we're gonna go ahead Oh no, some young Sims may be left behind because there weren't enough Sims to carry them. Don't worry, we're gonna sort that out. We'll make sure by force or by fire, one of these guys will be at the lot. So you can go ahead and we're gonna go and join Angela and make sure she is ready. So guys, Angela is here. She is ready in her gorgeous wedding outfit. Um, and yeah, she looks... <laughs> She looks a little bit nervous, actually. I don't know what that facial expression is about, but yeah, she looks lovely and she looks like she is ready. Oops. So she was just checking herself out in the mirror, as you do, gussy up a little bit, but let's see if we can get a good picture of her. Okay, that does not look like a good picture. <laughs> that doesn't look like she is happy. I think she's probably got a little bit of cold feet there. It's more to do with not being able to get to it, but that's okay. The first guest has arrived and it's time to start the party. To make it a success, make sure everyone is having a good time. Okay, we will definitely, definitely try. Okay, so our guests have started arriving and I'm sure Angela's gonna go ahead and greet some of them. <laughs> they keep coming into this room. I know she was talking to BB earlier, but Angela will come out here and where is Christopher have you arrived here yet nope you're still on your way oh it looks like Jeffrey is here Leighton has come <laughs> she actually oh she's not happy to see Leighton oh my gosh I actually love that reaction oh how stunning does uh Victoria Andrews look <laughs> oh okay can we just take a moment? Because <laughs> it kind of looks like somebody else is getting married here <laughs> with just this pose right here. I need to take like, a picture of this. <laughs> what do you think is going through their minds right about now? <laughs> if this had been a different time, if this had been a different place, if this had been a different LP, we might have been seeing something different here today, guys. <laughs> I find it so crazy that that's how they look. Meanwhile, Christopher is probably none the wiser, just holding his baby boy, not really taking into account what is happening right in front of him. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're not gonna focus on that too much. Okay, so he's gonna head and put down Blake. <laughs> Oh, it's so interesting just to see everyone come. Oh, Bo, that is not your formal outfit. <laughs> you better get changed because you're here to basically be the best man. And I can imagine Christopher and Bo just having a little chat. I hope that people are not running away to the beach because that would annoy me so much. <laughs> Bo, come back. Where are you going? Can we call over? Oh, confess attraction for Angela. I love that. <laughs> Go and speak to him and just let him know how crazy you are about your fiance. Okay, guys, I'm actually going to turn this off because everybody is shaking a leg. Yeah, okay, stay here. So we're going to turn this off and we will... Let Blake and Angela get married. 
Actually, before we do, I did forget to actually put out the wedding cake. I got the, is it happily frosted? Happily ever frosted cake. So it's out there and that I think is store content or custom content, it's one or the other. So, <laughs> I don't quite know how we're gonna do this. At least, at, so far, this wedding is definitely going better than the other one. I kind of wish Bo would get his ass over there. Then I kind of want to seal this up so nobody leaves. <laughs> um, but we'll see how it goes. So we will let Christopher go ahead and I guess, can we just start the wedding? Oh, he's just going to stroke her cheek. Okay. Oh, God, it looks like Jeffrey was going to go and say something just then. Ah, oh, finally, look who turned up, Jamie. <laughs> She's like, sorry, Angela, running late, but now I'm here, the wedding can start. So with the exception of Nancy Landgrab, I think everyone else who we invited is here. Um, so yeah, we'll get going. I did seal it off so nobody sort of escapes. <laughs> and I'm hoping that will help the wedding. Oh, look at that. Can we just see how Leighton is also looking? Is it really weird to have your exes at your wedding? <laughs> um, we'll just say that Christopher invited him by mistake. <laughs> but Angela doesn't care. It looks like she's only got eyes for Christopher at the moment, which is super, super sweet. So let's go ahead. Let's kick off this wedding. Okay, there it is. Get married. Let's go ahead and let's do this. <gasps> what was Angela going to go and do then? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Just like, I am totally ready for this. <laughs> Okay, I wonder if they're just going to stand here and do it. I think they are. And we'll see if other people just sort of gather around and watch the ceremony. Oh my gosh, yay! Oh my gosh! Let me just pause one second so I can get some better pictures. I actually really love the music that plays. <laughs> Look at the face of Sam Sakimoto over here. He's like, oh my gosh, she could have been my stepmommy, but my daddy screwed it up. Oh, look at them kissing. That is so awesome. Sorry that the camera was a bit jumpy then, guys. <laughs> oh, everyone's throwing rice and clapping. This is my first time literally seeing a base game wedding. I absolutely love it. Oh, oh where's everyone going? Oh, they're gonna go and cut the cake straight away, okay was not ready wait 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 for me wait for me i need a moment guys <laughs> so here they are just by the cake i wonder who's going to cut it first christopher looks really happy with it <laughs> you can just hear the crowd clapping let's take a good little look at them oh they look so excited okay i don't want to miss where the action is Oh no, is Angela tired? <laughs> Let's get a picture of Christopher cutting the cake. I kind of wish Angela had been cutting it, but it's okay, Christopher. We know how much you have wanted this day. You wanted it even before Angela wanted it. Sorry, guys, I am for once taking pictures. Oh, 
I'm guessing everyone's gonna come over and grab some cake. <laughs> Did you guys get a good look at Jamie? <laughs> she was running late on her bridesmaid's duties. Let's get a good picture of her because she is definitely one of the, the guests of honor at our wedding. Absolutely love this outfit. She actually looks really great here. And maybe one day soon, Jamie, it will be your wedding that we're attending. There was a little moodlet, a love heart moodlet, but I think I missed it. But at least we can see the just married. Sims always enjoy the joyful period following the marriage. Let's hope the love lasts. <laughs> I hope so too. Oh, she's picking up her baby on her wedding day. I actually love this. I think it's so sweet. You know, when you see like young couples who have gotten married and they've got maybe one or two young children. I, I always think it's so nice that they can share that special day with their kids. <laughs> and Jamie's just sort of eating her cake in the background. Oh, I absolutely love that. <laughs> it's nice to see her super happy with her babies on her big day. Oh, and they've become friends, sweet. We'll see what else is happening with our party guests. So Bo is taking a seat there with his wife, Victoria, and Jeffrey's on the table. I'd say you are, we definitely got some of the key people on this table. Um, and Jamie is just sitting over here by herself. What happened to Iqbal, actually? Okay, he is somewhere over here. I guess these guys didn't get cake. We can go ahead and let's serve the buffet. And they've gone ahead and put the music back on. So hopefully they'll still have a good time. And there is a, a candy floss machine over here as well. I'm just feeling a little bit tired, but I am just going to buff that up a little bit. Oh, this is the mood that I was looking for. My love, sins in love swoon and flutter about like fools, oblivious to the world around them. So I'm guessing that's because she's in close proximity to Christopher now. Oh, who is she closer to, Christopher or Jeffrey? Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I keep playing on that. But sweet venue party, the choice and venue for this party is excellent. It sure beats the standard house. Oh, did it disappear? Yeah, it, sh it sure beats the standard house party. So what's Christopher doing? He's going to grab some cookies. And it looks like people are, hopefully they're enjoying themselves. These guys are over here dancing. <laughs> In fact, I would love to see Angela and Christopher dance. Who's Latonia? And why do you want to give her a friendly introduction? <laughs> it's your wedding day. <laughs> I don't know where you got that wish from. Oops. You can see where my CC heavy uh, Sims are. Taking a little bit of time to load. But Christopher, why don't you go and dance with Oh, why don't you give her a kiss? Have you guys actually kissed? Go ahead and kiss. Oopsie. Oh, now I remember they were kissing. <laughs> I absolutely love the way he's just looking at her. Oh, the look on her face as well. She kind of looks a bit drunk as well, to be honest. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Okay. What else do we need to do? Angela, I think you can go ahead and grab a plate of stuffed turkey. Why not? How are the kiddos doing? Great, they're both in awesome moods. So I'm really happy. Jamie is out here shaking a leg, both dancing with Erin Kennedy. Oh, I forgot to read the announcement. So Angela Pearson just exchanged rings with Christopher Steeles. She will never forget the day she committed herself to her sweetheart. Awesome. Oh, Christopher just cut into the wedding cake. He will always remember celebrating mat the matrimonial ceremony with a slice moist of <laughs> with a slice of moist, delicious frosting covered goodness. Oh, looks like they're talking about the wedding. I'm so happy that Bo and Christopher have rekindled their friendship and I really hope they become super good friends. <laughs> Look at Jamie over here. Oh, come on. 
No, we are not playing catch. Angela always wants to play catch. You guys need to come over here and you need to dance. You need to go over here and have your first dance. Come on, Christopher, you too. Oh, has everyone gone? <laughs> I think everyone's left. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. It was a great party. At least the party girl, Jamie, is still here. We'll have you guys just dance together a little bit. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Blake is just looking up at his parents dancing. <laughs> Jamie was the last to arrive, but it looks like she's also going to be the last to go home. Is it safe to say the wedding's over? Yep, yeah, it is. <laughs> These guys are just dancing away. Brienne, I think, is super tired now. So I think we can call it today. And I do have to say, I think that wedding went 10 times better than the first wedding. It looks like I didn't even need the gate if they were just going to sneak out of the side anyway. <laughs> But I think that does it. Looks like Jamie is now on her way home as well. But at least no one ended up in the beach and then coming back in their swimsuit because that's exactly what happened during the first one. <laughs> oh gosh, I did not even realize it was 10 p.m. No wonder everyone had gone home. What a long day. Okay, Christopher and Angela have a couple of days off to get settled in today. Okay, awesome. <gasps> Jeffrey has reached elder status. He can now start thinking about retirement. <gasps> oh my gosh, Jeffrey's an elder already. Well, Angela's actually going to age up into an adult tomorrow. It was meant to be, I think, on today. Today is Sunday. Um... But yeah, oh, Christopher's party was awesome, verging on epic. Sims all around the town will be talking about this one for years. Oh, I'm sure they will. And that's where today's episode ends, guys. I really do hope you enjoyed the dream Pearson Steel wedding. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button as it's such a source of encouragement for me and for the channel. And if you want to tune in for the next episode, make sure you've hit that subscribe button. So that's enough from the Pearson Steel family and it's enough from me, Novi. Until next time, bye.